Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. We're going to take a look at the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Cancer. We're going to look at love later because I am doing a live reading on the 12th, so I hope you guys join us. So whatever week you're looking at this video, that will be your week and that's meant for you. We're going to look at general, so this could encompass love, career, finance, family, friends, and just overall yourself as far as energy healing, etc. So we're going to see what's coming in for you guys. So welcome, welcome to the channel. So we're starting off the week with the Empress card and then we're following it with the Transformation card and ending to something because you've been planning something. It's been in the works for quite some time. So Cancer, this is in the beginning of the week. You're going to feel like, oh my gosh, my world is finally coming to a completion. Whatever you've been going through, you are ending it, all right? And that ending is something you knew was in the works for you transforming that old into something brand new and some of you this is turning your business into something completely different doing a 360 is what i'm hearing if you don't know and if you haven't been following me i see it hear it feel it know it i use the cards for you so that you have something to look at other than my hands okay <laughs> but this is talking about and the cards follow whatever i'm guided as i get these guided messages for you Cancer, this is an amazing opportunity coming in. You may have a little bit of struggle in the middle of the week, but I don't think it's going to last long. I'm talking like maybe you will stop and reflect for five minutes. It could be five hours, but it won't be a very long period of time where you're saying, absolutely not. I've come too far to turn around and go back now. Now, you could have a Virgo coming into your life. I am seeing Virgo. I'm seeing Pisces. Uh, Aries is attached to this somehow. Taurus is attached to this. And Libra is attached to this as well. That could simply be the month that they come in, the element that they're under. But for a lot of you, it may very well be the person you're dealing with. And this could be their reading, and it is meant for you to hear. This is a general reading, so you're going to know how it resonates with your life. Now, this is something you've been planning and preparing. Some of you, it is an absolute move, a brand new move of relocating. You're hearing my dog. Hey, Kathy, stop. It's his birthday, Captain Lovebug's birthday. Oh, he's wagging his tail. He got in trouble. <laughs> he didn't really get in trouble, but he thinks he did. Anyway, you could be starting a brand new venture, and some of you are going to be relocating. You're waiting for the right moment to jump and take that opportunity. That opportunity may come in at the beginning of the week, and for some of you, it'll be the week after, where this is something you've been planning and preparing for quite some time, for 4-5, four, four to five months. It could be four to five years for some of you, where you waited for your children to leave, because this is a card about being a mama or a papa. All right, so you've waited for your family to leave so that you can change course direction for yourself and cancer you're always filled with love and this is your moment to really pull it all in this is about being in balance within your own self so you'll know the right moment to jump on that boat and take that new adventure and go in this new direction one that is going to be very very good for you you see when we get the three of wands this is about seeing beyond so seeing beyond the end of something because you know there's something greater Knowing that your true calling, although you love being a parent, although you love being involved in with a person, whatever it was, there was a lot of love attached to it at some point. It probably still is today. However, you know you were destined to do something different. So this is pulling back your personal power, the card of empowerment right here, and turning your entire life around empowering you is going to get you exactly what you were meant to have in this lifetime so if you felt gypped in some way don't because this is your moment to step into a beautiful place where you're going to shine above everybody else and i love that and i think that was in a, a past reading for you if you're new to my channel welcome i hope that you subscribe and we're going to be doing these readings on a weekly basis starting next week so I believe uh, all of my water beads are going to be on Wednesdays, but that will be in the description box below. We're going to look at the detail as we go through, but the overall message is you are completely turning in a new direction. A very 
positive direction. Now remember, it's, it's three, four, okay, three, four, and five. Those are going to be your numbers, three, four, and five, because this is going to be a week of progressive movement. So even though Mercury is in retrograde and it can make a stop, okay, remember I said you're not going to turn back and look at anything again. And that's what this ending is. You're you're going to end anything that was painful to you. You're letting it go. You're going, mm -mm, not going back that way. No way. I've come too far now. I've come way too far. And you know exactly where you're supposed to go. So that Ten of Swords is getting ready to literally turn into the Ace of Swords. A new beginning walking in your true path. Walking in the core being of who you are, following your own fiddle, okay? You're going you're gonna to make your own music and do it the whole way. This vibe of swords, that's what you're leaving. You're saying, I am not doing this. And for some of you, I do feel it is a relationship with a family member for a lot of you. It may very well be your partner. I'm not really focusing on love because we're doing this wonderful love reading on the 12th. So I do hope that you join us. Now, this is stepping into a beautiful place of overcoming any self-sabotage energy. Now, some of you might be feeling guilty if you are moving into something you knew you were meant to do. If you're a mother, a father, a grandparent, and walking into a brand new country where you're leaving your family and the country that you're at. It's okay because this was part of your destiny. So you have to overcome a lot in order to make that transformation, right? Whatever it is for you, that's just an example. We have the Two of Pentacles, and it's about being in balance as you are waiting for this ship to come in, as you're waiting for this new endeavor to come in. You have to finalize this, and then you're going to move right into this. And it's going to be very, very fast for some of you. It's going to be in that week, and for others, it may be through uh, June of 2022. Planning, preparing. Uh, you know, like if you were going to move to a different country, you have to sell your things. You got to put everything away. You got to pack everything up into one little neat box or put out all the expense to have everything you've already had your whole life brought over with you. So this is like big decisions getting ready to be made and clear clarity is getting ready to come through because you've had a lot to overcome for sure. Now, as we look a little bit more at the detail this balance card is going to be very important because you have to balance out the new planning and getting rid of the old. So it's a back and forth kind of energy that I feel you're going to go through. And it's going to be very good, although it's going to feel a little awful in the center, right? It feels a little off. Right? You're tearing down your old world. You're tearing down your old structure and the tower card has come into almost every single reading. But not one reading has had a negative uh, uh, attachment to it because you see the tower is letting go of this the 10 turns into a one if we're looking straight at the tarot without any guidance at all this is going to happen you're literally transforming you are releasing this and you're growing into this beautiful empress male or female it doesn't matter it's a general reading so the tower is going to shake up your world and you have the emperor card your counterpart your counter person okay and this may very well be a job for some of you but for a lot I really feel this is about family and it could very well be romantic but it is about love whatever it was that you loved that made you feel that you were on the right path but yet always being taken back going up three steps and being knocked back down two steps you're letting go of that you're walking away from it some of you are going to transform a relationship and they may or may not go and we'll see as the detail comes through because I feel for a lot of you, you're not going to stay with that person. But you're going to know if it's right for you because the emperor and the empress are an ideal pairing. They complement each other. It's like salt and pepper. You know, you have that perfect balance and harmony between the two and then it turns into this amazing flavor. The Eight of Swords, you know, you've got this detail saying you've got a lot to work through, but you're going to do it. You're literally going to do it because this is your overall outcome of this week. So this is a lot of work. It's a lot of shadow work for some of you. It's a finalizing of what you've been working on, again, for about uh, uh, right around four years, right around four years. It could be three, but I do see four is very big, very, very big. Now we have four, we have five, we have 
three, four, and five. Three, four, and five, all right? You even have the two on the board. So you're going to see some progressive numbers of the way. And what I'm being guided to say is three, four, and five. Those are the big numbers for you. So whether it's 3.45 p.m. or it's $345, you're going to know how it fits and it just happens. It's not like you look for it. Don't sit there and watch a clock and say, oh, it's going to be 3.45 in just a minute. No, you don't wait. It just shows up as soon as you turn your head and poof, that's when the synchronicity happens. This emperor is somebody who's very, very stuck and I feel they created a lot of trauma and drama around you. And I do mean the word trauma and drama, okay? This is a situation that uh, it had a lot of negativity to it. So walking away from it is going to do you good. And you may have been planning and preparing. Some of you, it can go so deep that you're literally transforming an abusive relationship, okay? Where there was a lot of verbal abuse attached to this relationship and emotional abuse that goes with it. But for a lot of you, it's absolutely inside of you your own self-sabotage kind of energy that kept you stuck from making this big decision. But with this card of transformation, you are literally going to come right into what you're meant to have. So you're working through it and bravo, pat yourself on the back because nobody else is going to do it for you. So you need to do it and I'm doing it with you. And Captain Lovebug's here and he's doing it with you too. And it's his birthday, so give him a happy birthday. He's three. So <laughs> Captain Lovebug, my golden retriever. The Seven of Swords, you are walking away from this. That's what I mean. You are literally walking away. We got two, three, four, five, and we have seven and eight. All we're missing is the six, and we'll see what comes out in the adversities, all right? Huge progressive moment. Planning and preparing, keeping yourself in balance while you do this. And some people haven't gone through a situation, and I feel for a lot of you, it's family, like a family member. This could be separating and severing ties from parents. But also, when I'm talking about like relocating to a different country, to a totally different area where you're leaving your family behind, you're leaving behind the people you love, all of this energy will play out. It has nothing to do with absolute abuse, but it very well could for some of you. And that's what we're here in the age of Aquarius to stop. So let's see what's coming as far as adversities because you're taking the lessons and you're going, mm, lesson learned. I'm good. I am not looking back. So don't look back. Do not look back again. You've already done it a million, probably a billion times just to make sure that it feels right for you because it's not easy changing your life when you're in one direction going into another. All right. So Cancer, we have the card of the Queen of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups and the Five of Cups. And that's what I'm talking about, all right? Having the confidence to, to, to do what feels right for you. Getting your sexy and sensual self back again, looking good, feeling good, and mesmerizing everybody around you. They're going to be mystified going, what the heck happened to that person, okay? You're like a brand new person. Because you can see beyond what you couldn't see before. Walking away from a relationship that may have been um, a lot of deceit, a lot of deception attached to this relationship. It's going to grow you and you were able to see the truth even though they may have lied to you. Mm -hmm. We can feel it. We know it. We just know when somebody is doing something, something we don't like. And the Seven of Cups is saying you actually did do that. And with this Five of Cups, this is saying, yeah, you may have lost the Three Cups but you still have the opportunity in regular tarot, you have the opportunity to grab those two cups. This is saying as an adversity, it's regret, absolute regret. So do not look back. Do not have any regret over the decision that you're making if it's um, meant for you to have. Now, Pay very close attention to who is around you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, individual, and I named some other zodiac signs. You may have been dealing with a person like that, and this may be the whole, their reading, okay? But whoever that person is, they held a lot of power over you. They held a lot of power over you and probably even put you in this trans, uh, transient state where you just, you couldn't detach yourself from them. You couldn't let go or they couldn't let go of you. 
But by the end of the week, you're going, I get it. I get it. And you're going to be so grateful you heard this reading. So overcoming this by being confident and seeing beyond what's in front of you, look for the truth that's been hiding all along and do not have regret when it comes to anybody that has kept you stuck and restricted you from moving forward. This is a lot of and of negativity that you've had to overcome and you are overcoming it beautifully. Keep going and stay uh, in your own self. Now I'm going to pull one more card overall, an oracle card to help you through this situation so that it helps guide you toward the most positive outcome possible. And that's what we do on this channel. Please subscribe to this channel. And again, your readings will begin every single week. You can look in the description box below. Click that button and you'll be notified as soon as I upload them. There is no necessarily a blame when we realize that the person that you were dealing with, they didn't grow up the way you did. They, uh, they had different beliefs. They may have been influenced by other people around them. So although we aren't saying that, oh, it's not their fault, it is their fault because they chose that. However, we don't blame them. It's their own life experience, and this is your life experience. So do not feel regret when this situation is coming. You are overcoming something that is very negative and transforming yourself and your life into a better place than you possibly could think of uh, four or five years ago. You would have never thought it. However, it's coming for real. Have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching.